Welcome to Twin Peaks Unwrapped. I'm your host, Ben Durant, and beside me is... Brian Kazaska. Hey, Brian. Hey, Ben. How you doing? Pretty good. So we are going over our book, talking about what is our favorite thing in each one of the chapters of the book. And we're now on chapter six, which focuses on episode four of season one. And Brian, what is your favorite thing about this chapter? You know... It's a fantastic chapter, as they all are. Mm -hmm. uh, but Bob Angles, uh, we have a nice little uh, golden nugget. Uh, I don't want to give it away because you got to go buy the book. Yeah. But it's my favorite thing because we get to learn about his relationship with Mark Frost hmm. and how Mark Frost and him growing up, well, Bob Angles knew him when he was 12. And That's a simple. lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of these little things, they grew up somehow made it to Twin Peaks. And I think it's really fascinating that the, their lives um, have kind of translated to the world of Twin Peaks. And we all want to say it's all David Lynch, but I think when it comes down to the townspeople and these, these just little tiny quirks, it's it potentially was from Mark Frost and Bob Angles and, and these other folks who grew up together mm. and kind of took their uh, small town lives and, uh, and put it in the show. So, yeah. So Ben, what's your favorite part of chapter six? My favorite part of chapter six is a uh, director, Leslie Linka Gladder. She actually does share with us that she almost had a role in this episode and it's kind of cool just to find out about this character. And it's more, I mean, and it's something that they were always trying to do. They were always trying to get crew people or the behind the scenes people into the show. And she eventually does get into, at the end of the season, she gets to be the seamstress for Audrey in, in One-Eyed Jacks. But it's kind of, I don't think I, in all my years of liking Twin Peaks, I don't think I ever knew she almost was in this episode and the role she would have played and stuff. So I think, right. and I think, yeah, I think that was just so fascinating. It's, it's, and it's something that we do often in this book where we find out other things that people were involved with that we may not have known or that they would have been a part of if things had worked out. And I, that's my favorite part of this book, part of this chapter. Right. And I mean, you can get yourself all the chapters at bluerosemag.com. So just go to bluerosemag.com because, you know, right now, nothing else is being produced but local artists like ourselves, and you can support us. And it's a very limited supply. So once it's out, it's out. This is the only printing we're doing. We're not, we're not doing a second printing. This, is, this was for the 30th anniversary of Twin Peaks. This is the year that we want to celebrate Twin Peaks and put out this book. So I hope you'll get it. And you know, yeah, bluerosemag.com. <laughs> 